Well, 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 my friends. Hello. Hope everyone's had a wonderful day. Welcome to the big old show. The only place to go. All right, time to get serious. I have got a new member to my snapper family. It's not another riding lawnmower, which I would like to have another old vintage riding lawnmower. As we all know, I have this snapper series six. I bought, what, about three weeks ago? Two and a half weeks ago for $300. I washed and waxed it. Looks almost new. The only thing I got left to do is sand, uh, take this <clears throat> handlebar off right here, take these rubber grips off, sand this, and repaint it white, make it look new. All right, this is what I've got. I think it's a 20 inch, if I'm not mistaken. I have not even measured it myself. Uh, 21 inch, because the model starts, the model is 21.35. There's a serial number and the model is 2135, 2135, 1PD. So the first two numbers means it's a 21 inch. So it's 2135 or, two, or 21351. The first two numbers means the model. So it's a 21 inch. And this is from the early 80s. It's self propelled. It does work good. It's a six speed. Right here, six speed. One, first gear, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. And, as you all know, everybody always puts a zip tie around this handle right here. This is one, if you release the handle right here, it will, lawnmower will turn off. And you do not really need that. That's just a safety in case you crunk this lawnmower up and it was running. If you let go of the handle and you're going to tank over the lawnmower, the motor... You don't have to worry about getting hit by the blade. That's just extra safety. As you can see right here on the gas lever, you've got stop up here. We've got start down here. That's choke. So it's an early 80s model. It comes with the original 3.5 horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine. This was made in McDonough, Georgia, Henry County. That's the county where the Atlanta Motor Speedway is. I used to live right beside it, the snapper plant in McDonough, Georgia. And the snapper plant in McDonough, Georgia is the original plant. And for, as far as I know, they're still open. They were at least in 2016 when I was down there in McDonough, Georgia. I used to live right beside it. So now you know the rest of the story. No, not Paul Harvey. It comes with the original 3.5 horsepower Briggs and Stratton. It, and it also, it came with a chute right here, a chute and a bag. But I don't have all that. I'm sure I can find it. The guy wanted $150, I gave him 110 I need to wash it up. See right here? That's how this one looked. This one right here looked exactly like this one until I washed it, until I washed that one and waxed it. It looked like this, dull red. So I will get it, make it look as new as possible. I will take this breather off, repaint this, take the gas tank off, repaint it white, doctor it up, tape this up so I don't paint over any of the uh, stickers. Tape this up. There's my serial number. As you can see, McDonough, Georgia. These little mowers are made in McDonough, Georgia in Fort Worth, Texas. This is the early 80 model. I think this is 81. Let's see if she'll crank. That's the main thing, right? We got it on start. And one thing I'd like to say, if y'all will remember, about three, about six weeks ago, I hurt my right arm moving a big Kenmore washer somebody had gave us because their other washer messed up. I unloading it from a 4x4 truck four-wheel drive Chevy that blue when I drive sometimes and six inches from, from the ground the washer fell it jerked my arm I've got a torn bicep it's torn half in two I just had an MRI so any time I pick up anything over about 10 15 about 15 pounds my arm hurts so more likely I'm gonna have to have surgery I go back in three weeks the doctor will if it's not healed by then he's going to do surgery wish me luck say some prayers let's sit see if she'll start and since my, it's my right arm, my right hand, so I'm going to have to try to crank it with my left hand. Let's see if I can do it left-handed. I'm not left-handed. I guess since I'm, I might have to have surgery the way it's looking, I need to learn how to... I can use my left hand, but it's, I'm not that great at pulling a lawnmower. Second. Second time she crunked. 
If y'all know, let me idle it down. Hold on. If everybody knows, this right here, that's your clutch. See how that moves? That's a clutch. You want to see if it'll move? Watch this. You ready? All I do is pull this right here. This is a self-propelled. You pull this little lever right here, over here, and it will pull. It's got six gears. Let's try number one. Pulling itself. Let's try gear number three. Three, here we go. Gear number three, baby. It's pulling itself. See here? It, it works like a brand new lawnmower. It cuts good and everything. She's purring like a kitten. New addition to my snapper family. That one over here is the early 80s model. Is a, this one the early 80s model, if I'm not mistaken. It's a snapper series six. When I looked it up, that's what I came up with anyway. A series six snapper from the earth. They made them in the 80s, 1980s. All right. So here we, I pay 300 for this and it runs like brand new. Listen to this and purring like a kitten. These are always a little bit rattly right there because that's clutch, that's your gears. Purring like a kitten. Well, I paid 100 and let's turn it off. See, I pushed it off and she stopped. I paid 110 and it runs like new. It, the reason it didn't crank the first time, I'm not left-handed. I pulled it, to be honest with you, with my right hand, right when I first got it, but I should not have done that. My bicep's torn half, 50% in two. Keep me in your prayers. I'm excited about having another lawnmower, snapper, baby, antique. I, I named that one Christine, like Christine in the uh, Stephen King's uh, movie, Stephen King's book. I named that Christine. If you remember who on the Plymouth, I think it was a... Plymouth wasn't it was a Chrysler. I think it might have been I think it was a Chrysler. It was. Uh the the car Christine in Stephen King's uh, book and in the movie. Well remember Arnie Cunningham owned Christine. So I named this one Arnie, like after Arnie Cunningham who owned the car in uh, Christine the horror movie. So this is Arnie and that's Christine. She'll purr like a kitten. She'll crank every time. Yep. So I'm glad she runs new. I'm excited about it. I, that's what I cut my grass with today. And look how good it looks. With this right here, it's self-propelled. In other words, it pulls itself. And they said we had rain moving in at four o'clock. It's about six. Actually right now it's about seven o'clock or maybe about 10 minutes after seven. Look how it looks in my neck of the woods. Clouds are moving pretty fast. Thanks for watching my lawn, lawnmower video. I love everybody. Look at all these honeysuckles. Everywhere. But let's stick to the topic. My not, my old snapper self-propelled mower from the early 80s. So now we've got two members of the snapper family. We've got Christine and we've got Arnie. Like Christine from the Christine horror movie that Stephen King wrote, his book. All right, I love everybody. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for listening to my lawnmower. Hope you, you like it as much as I do. Love everybody. Be happy, positive, and focused. Stay away, stay away from negative people. Try to do the right thing. I will see you all on down the road.